Hey y'all, I'm back with another haul. So this Christmas haul is going to be from stores. My aunt and I shopped a couple of days ago. We went to, to Bath & Body Works, Victoria's Secret, TJ Maxx, and Burlington Coat Factory. So first I'm gonna start off with Bath & Body Works. They were having a great sale and I had already been in the mall or maybe an hour or two with my aunt and I left so I was like I'm gonna go home pick up my son and we will come back for round two so round two is when my aunt realized Bath and Body Works was having this great sale so we had to go and check it out so um, I got these two body washes it's from the men's collection Nor. so I got two of those for my husband and the other two in the men's collection is bourbon so this sale was really good because these uh, it's two-in-one hair and body wash and they're normally $12.50 a piece so that would have been almost $50 just for those four body washes but the sale was $3.95 a piece and we had a coupon for uh, $10 off $30 and the last two that I got uh, were two female body washes called Beautiful Day. They smell so good. And normally like I like a stronger smelling um, fragrance, whether, whether it's for the house um, or it's for my body. Because I just feel like lighter fragrances, I know they're supposed to be more feminine, but in all honesty, they just don't last as long. In my opinion, if I'm going to spend some money, I want, you know, to know that my fragrance is going to linger for more than like a couple minutes. So that was it for um, the men's collection. Those were the body washes, hair and body washes I got from my husband. He has um, dreadlocks like I do, so he's not going to wash his hair with it. I don't know what hair texture bath and body works caters towards but it's good for um you know as shower gel so he enjoys to smell nice so he'll get some good use from those um my aunt allowed me to pick out five soaps i need uh i wanted i just wanted one holiday soap for the guest bathroom because um when company is here at my house for Thanksgiving, I already have soap and lotion in the guest bathroom and they're in like little clear uh, dispensers. So they're really cute, but I, I always wanted to have a holiday scented hand wash. So they had a sale on the hand washes, five for 23. So I figure these hand washes will probably last me, I don't know, at least six months or more. So my aunt said they're for Christmas, and I was like, well, I wanna have one for Thanksgiving, you know, to have out in a couple days for the family that comes by. So I'm gonna pick one of these five to, um, you know, keep out for the holiday, and then the other four I'm gift wrapping. <laughs> I'm gonna go through all of the Bath & Body Works products and, you know, wrap it up nice or whatever, and the rest I will have to wait until Christmas. So this is one of the five that I picked out, black, black cherry merlot uh and it's a foaming hand soap i feel like a foaming hand soaps get your hands cleaner because you can actually see the suds versus a regular hand soap no nah, whatever but so that was one that i picked out i should have picked out more foaming hand soaps i only got one but i wanted holiday smells this was the second one frosted coconut it's crazy that i like this because i don't even like the smell of coconut I really don't even eat too many coconut foods except for a recipe my sister told me about and it involves coconut it's coconut shrimp but other than that I don't go for coconut but it's something about this the fragrances you know they flow well together the third one I picked out is toasted what is this toasted vanilla chai and it smells so nice um, it kind of just reminds me of like ginger and spices and stuff so that'll be a nice one uh the fourth one was winter candy apple everyone has you know candy apples and stuff around the holidays so that was a classic 
And then the final one for five for 23 is the spiced ginger. And this just smells like, uh, you know, gingerbread cookies, gingerbread man. So that, those were the ones that are, are my Christmas gift, the hand washers for the bathroom. And that sale was five for 23. Uh, my aunt picked out six more body washes, you know, as gifts. So one of the ones she got was Pretty as a Peach. It has a really soft scent, but it's still girly at the same time. And I feel like the fragrance fragrance will last long. I don't think it's gonna, you know, rub off or wear off too quickly. This one my aunt said she wanted to keep for herself. It's called A Thousand Wishes. And it's uh, pretty nice too. I wanted to uh, probably get one body wash and that would have been Japanese cherry blossom, but I did. I'm gonna hold off for a Victoria's Secret sale because everybody wears Japanese cherry blossom. So I said, well, I'll just wait. Uh, she also picked out a beautiful day because these are, you know, these six are gifts that she's got, that she's gonna pass out. They had the aromatherapy as part of. Um, their sale so the three she got under the aromatherapy collection were love rose and vanilla and I thought it was so cute how Bath and Body Works took the time to uh, tie a little ribbon around some of the bottles in the store the second one she got was peppermint and these are also body washes so the body washes were on sale $3.95 and she had a $10 off 30 coupon and the final one she got was aromatherapy sleep so um we my aunt saw a gift bag of three body washes in the store and she liked the way it was packaged up in the cellophane or whatever so because i'm good with you know a presentation and that sort of thing she asked me to gift wrap her um her body washes that she's gonna pass out so to go inside of the cellophane bag um, these are the cellophane bags. They have that uh, mother of pearl iridescent um, hue to them, so they're really gorgeous. So we made sure to get about nine of these bags, and then I think we got nine or ten of the ribbons. So I'll tie these around all of the bottles, uh, just like this one. And I'm probably gonna go out and get coordinating ribbon uh, to tie around the top of the bag. So for example, this one is blue, so I'll get a blue ribbon. And then like this one is gray, so I'll pr probably go out and get a gray ribbon because presentation is everything. So since they are body washes, to coincide with that whole thing, um, she found these two puffs. So the gray will go with the gray, and then you know there's another body wash that will match that. So inside of each, um, gift bag it's going to be a puff um that will coincide with the body wash and we're going to put candy canes and i'm probably going to find like some cute confetti or whatever i'll probably attach a clip of how i'm going to decide to put this project together when it's all said and done so we're doing four gift bags for my aunt so two people will get these puffs you can come in my son is trying to come in from walking the dog and then these cute little puffs were at Victoria's Secret. Also, there it's a body, uh, body proof. You bathe with it. So two gift bags will have these in them, and then the other two will have these. So that's it as far as what we purchased from Bath and Body Works. So I'm really pleased with that. Um, I know that I needed more serveware. I'm probably gonna a couple of a day or so before Thanksgiving. You can leave it open, Kaden. Oh, it's fine. Leave it like that. It's okay. Leave it. So a couple of days before Thanksgiving, I'm probably going to do a video on all of the serveware and how I'm going to set it up on the table just to show you how to set up because we're going to serve buffet style. So in TJ Maxx, um, I needed to go get some more serveware because I want everything just to look, you know, timeless. And I didn't want to serve this year. This is my first year hosting for Thanksgiving. Um, and I didn't want to have the foods in the typical Dollar Tree pans. Not that it's anything wrong with that, but for my first year, I just, you know, wanted to adult and step up my serveware game. So I went and got two more dishes and I'm hoping these will be the last two. 
so this came from tj maxx it's so cute and it's small but it's like small enough it's just the right size for what we need so i got two of these the lid comes off and it was from tj maxx at 9.99 um it's from the bland the brand blue harbor it says microwave and dishwasher safe so i guess you can't bake in them so i will uh bake or prepare whatever dishes on the stove and transfer into this so this one will be for rice and then the second one will be for i believe cabbage also from was this from tj maxx oh no that was yeah this is from tj maxx also from tj maxx i found these and I wanted some pumpkin um, canisters. So when I saw them, I was like, oh my God, I have to have those. But like upon further investigation, it's not pumpkin shaped, but it's still gorgeous. You know, it's round. It matches um, the aesthetic for my home. So I haven't figured out what I'm going to be able to store in them. I probably won't be able to use them, you know, to serve food. Because if you can see the opening, like my hand barely goes in there but if you use the spoon to dip it out i don't know maybe i'm gonna take the lid off and use it for a centerpiece for flowers i'm not sure i know it's gonna find a good home whether it's on my kitchen counter you know as those canisters or um whether it's part of my thanksgiving decor like on the table so i'll find a use for it these were 9.99 and i found two of them I love to decorate in sets of two, twos, or threes. So I found two of those. This will also be in my centerpiece. This was at TJ Maxx. It was on uh, clearance for $4. It says, oh, I have it upside down. It says grateful, thankful, and blessed. And we have to be mindful, you know, that we are, that we should be grateful for everything we have. We should be thankful and realize that we are blessed no matter what's going on. I live with a disability where I'm in pain every day, but at the end of the day, I'm still above ground. You know, I still have family. I still have friends. I'm able to function. So we just need to be mindful, not only in the Thanksgiving season to be grateful, but year round. So I thought those were really cute. And I wanted, it is probably two or three days before Thanksgiving, and I'm just now finding kitchen towels, but that's cool. I didn't want to go out and just get kitchen towels that had orange pumpkins just to fill the space on my stove when I know that they wouldn't match anything else in my home but when my aunt and I were in Burlington Coat Factory um, we found these dish towels so I'm so pleased with them they were $7.99 and it's two of them they just say gather but the you know they're more neutral and um they have a cute little silver trim so they're just gonna match my house so beautifully i'm gonna go ahead and upload a final thanksgiving um you know decor house tour probably the next day or so so i'm just really pleased with the quality of those and i also saw these cute um salt and pepper shakers they were in burlington as well um, they're little turkey so I thought that was too cute for the table they were originally $3.99 but if you can see right here it's chipped so inside the box um, is the other piece the piece that's chipped so I'm just gonna get my e6000 and fix that so they gave me 10% off so I'm just gonna be very careful with these but I know I'll have them you know for years to come and the last thing that I purchased from Burlington it was $7.99 so it's the snowflake um, placemats they are so um, gorgeous and they're good quality so instead of um, you know using them as placemats um, on the table because my table I have a new bench you can see back there so it seats two in the bench and I ordered a second bench so my table will go from seating four to seating um, to seating six so instead of using these under each um table setting what i'm gonna do is line them up in a row so it's like there'll be four placemats all connected and it's gonna be running down the center of the thanksgiving table i'm gonna use that um 
set up as a, you know, as part of the centerpiece decor for my Thanksgiving table. So when I get ready to put that all together in the next day or so, I'll record that and then post it, you know, to give anybody any last minute ideas. But I just want to thank you for watching. And I'm hoping that everyone is having a blessed holiday season, no matter what, just know that you have something to be thankful for. If you're new, I would love if you would join the family and consider subscribing. If you've been around before, I appreciate all the love and support. Be blessed.